And can Chloe McArdle survive a 50-hour swim in shark-infested waters? Well, she is going to answer that question right here next on Weekend Today. Imagine swimming for more than two days non-stop in shark-infested waters for fun. Well, Chloe McArdle is planning to tackle that very brave challenge next year. And she joins us now from our Melbourne studio. Good morning, Chloe. Now, your parents, Meg and Bill, are at home watching. They don't know this, but you're attempting to swim 170 k's from the US to Cuba without a shark cage. Why? <laughs> Well, it has to be the greatest challenge in the world at the moment. It's a swim that no one has ever been able to complete without a shark cage. There's a lady, Diana, who tried, she tried three times in the last two years. An Australian woman has tried. It seems to be like the last bastion of true marathon swimming as a challenge that no one's been able to yet complete or conquer. So it's really inspired me as my goal for 2013 to get across, starting from Cuba and finishing 170 kilometres all the way on the US shores. Meg and Bill, I know you're watching at home. I'm sorry that Chloe's broken the news to you in this way. Um, how do you think, Chloe, that your parents will be reacting right about now? Um, they knew something big was about to be announced, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have been able to guess this. <laughs> My mama actually... Um, fought cancer a few years ago when I was a teenager and one of the reasons I really wanted to take on this challenge, besides the point of creating a huge world record, is to be able to raise fu funds for cancer because my mum did have cancer so it's something that's quite close to my heart and my husband and I, we're organising spearheading this swim together and we want to also make it a great opportunity to raise funds for cancer victims and support them as well. So there's a few reasons why I really want to do this swim and hopefully my mum will be able to appreciate that as well. Chloe, what a brave and beautiful thing to do for your mum. Now, can you talk us through some of the biggest obstacles in completing a swim like this, obviously despite the sharks and the cold and the, the, the aches and pains? Well, it's a 170-kilometre non-stop swim without flippers, without a wetsuit, without a shark cage. So I'm going to be exposed in this water to all the elements and I could be thrown anything from huge waves to, to the, the natural wildlife, our sharks, which we share the oceans with. So, yes, there will possibly be a threat in the swim, but I love sharks, I'm a vegetarian, and, and even though there's a possible threat there, we wouldn't be doing anything at all to compromise their safety in the beautiful ocean as well. So there's the, the natural element of the waves and the surf and there's also the wildlife, but even just being able to exercise continuously for, it could go from 50 to 70 hours without touching a boat, without touching anyone else. From an endurance point of view, it's going to push me to the absolute limits. Now, you have a support crew with you, but this is essentially a very long and lonely race. I mean, what will keep you motivated to push through the aches and the pains and the, the cramps and that type of thing? We have to be really goal-focused in a swim like this because it's such a huge stretch of water. And because when you start swimming, I'm not going to be able to see Cuba for nearly the whole entire swim. Sorry, the US. I'm going to have to really envisage my goal and how important it is to me because I'm going to have to swim through so much pain and so many challenges that are just going to get thrown to me which way and, and next. Like I've swum the English Channel six times and I've done two double crossings and, and the things that get thrown to you it just out of the blue and you've got to overcome yourself and use all your mental willpower to get through the struggles with the, the support, the mental support and the backup of support team feeding me. That's probably going to be my hugest challenge, the, the mental challenge of driving through all the obstacles I get along the way. Well, you are an extraordinary woman, only 27 years old. We wish you all the best. And your mum, Meg, watching at home now, I bet she'll be so proud of you. Good luck. Thank, thank you. A vegetarian wow. who loves sharks. Do you yeah. think, do you I don't think, think there they are many have vegetarian that. sharks out there who share that respect? No. Oh, that's going to be a big <laughs> swim. Uh, Meg and Bill, I hope you're sitting down. Uh, and good luck to you. All right, yeah. the Australians who...